guys welcome back to embryology with anatop in our last lesson we discussed about all genesis and in today's lesson we will be discussing about spermatogenesis spermatogenesis is a sequence of events by which spermatogonia are transformed into mature sperms this process takes approximately 74 days Males start producing sperm when they reach puberty, which is usually from 10 to 16 years old. At birth, germ cells in males can be recognized in the sex cords of the testes as large pale cells surrounded by supporting cells. Shortly before puberty, the sex cords acquire a lumen and become the seminiferous tubules. At about the same time, primordial germ cells begin to give rise to type A spermatogonia. Type A cells undergo a limited number of mitotic divisions and eventually produce type B spermatogonia. At puberty, the type B spermatogonia begin to undergo several mitotic divisions into primary spermatocytes. Each primary spermatocyte subsequently undergoes the first meiotic division to form two haploid secondary spermatocytes which are approximately half the size of primary spermatocytes. Subsequently, the secondary spermatocytes undergo a second meiotic division to form four haploid spermatids which are approximately half the size of secondary spermatocytes. The spermatids are gradually transformed into four mature sperms by a process known as spermiogenesis, which is a four-step process that includes 1. Formation of the acrosome 2. Condensation of the nucleus 3. Formation of the neck, middle and tail and 4. Shedding off most of the cytoplasm and thus a mature sperm. The process of spermatogenesis is regulated by luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, which are produced by the pituitary gland. LH binds to the receptors on Leydig cells and stimulates testosterone production, which in turn binds to satellite cells to promote spermatogenesis. On the other hand, FSH binds to FSH receptors on satellite cells and enhances the production of androgen binding protein which is critical for the initiation of spermatogenesis. That'll be all for now guys. Now if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave us a comment. Thank you! In our next lesson we will be discussing about the clinical anomalies associated with gametogenesis.